Hi, welcome back to Mr. Engel's Read Alouds. We have a special holiday coming up in two days. It's the holiday where you tell someone you care about how special they are. Today's story is called Mr. Goat's Valentine by Eve Bunting. Enjoy. Mr. Goat's Valentine, written by Eve Bunting. Illustrated by Kevin Zimmer. Mr. Goat read the headlines in the Goat Times. He dropped his newspaper, jumped up, got his wallet and his cell phone, and put on his bird's nest hat. I'm off to show my first love how much she means to me, he told his cat Beatrice. Meow, Beatrice said and yawned. On the way, Mr. Goat passed Miss Nanny Goat's weed stall. I'll have a mixed bouquet, Mr. Goat said. Crabgrass, pigweeds, and ragweed in that nice rusty can. They are for my first love. She's fond of a ragweed salad. She will like the can too, Miss Nanny Goat told him. Mr. Goat nodded. Cans are tasty, with a sprinkle of salt. He had only gone a few more steps when he smelled a delightful smell. Mr. Pygmy Little Goat had a stall under a tree. He was selling his delicious rotten eggs. He had opened one as a sample. It lay on his counter, black and oozing. Rotted for two years, he told Mr. Goat. Guaranteed foul and disgusting. Mr. Goat drooled. I'll take four. Two for my first love and two for me. We always share. He watched as Mr. Pygmy Little Goat arranged them in a red box and tied the box with a pretty red ribbon. Perfect, Mr. Goat said. They are so ripe, I can smell them even through the shells. My first love and I will share the pretty red ribbon for dessert. He walked on, breathing in the delightful smell of rotten eggs with every step. Miss Skunk came by with her perfume cart. She sniffed, hopefully. What is that delicious smell? She asked. Rotten eggs, Mr. Goat said. Miss Skunk smiled. They smell like me. May I try one? Sorry. Mr. Goat wound his front legs around his egg box. These are for my first love. It's Valentine's Day. Miss Skunk cocked her head. Do you have a Valentine's Day card for her? No, I have presents. Too bad. For Valentine's Day, you need a card. Miss Skunk sprayed Mr. Goat. This is for you, Mr. Goat. You'll smell nice for her. Nice as your eggs. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, Miss Skunk. Mr. Goat sat under the tree and thought hard. Perhaps Miss Skunk was right. I do not have a card for my first love, he told himself, but I will compose a song and serenade her. It was shady and cool under the tree. He sat thinking, and before long he had the words of a song. Hooray! He straightened his bird's nest hat and hurried on. Soon he came to the house of his first love. Oh, he thought, I hope she's home. I should have called first. Mr. Goat burst into song. 
When I was a little kid, it didn't matter what I did. If I climbed too high and fell, you'd kiss the hurt and make it well. You have loved me from the start. I love you with all my heart. The door opened and there she was. Happy Valentine's Day, Mother! Hi, welcome back. My favorite part of the story was when Mr. Goat gave a special Valentine to his mother. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Bye.